Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson we're going to study a trick with 9 and 8. And it's a pretty fun trick too. 9 plus 7. We have 9 that wants to become 10. It's not happy. It wants to be 10. So what does it do? It asks 7. 7, can you give me 1? So 7 says, OK. And then 9 gets to be 10. But what happened to 7 now? 7 only has 6 left. And so our addition problem 9 plus 7 has changed into 10 plus 6. And that's an easy addition, right? It's one of the T numbers. It has 6 here too. 16. Let's try it again. 9 and 5. Again, 9 wants to be 10. So 9 asks 5, can I have 1? And 5 says, OK, sure. And so 9 gets to be 10. But now 5 has only 4, right? 5 became 4. And then we add 10 plus 4, which is easy. It is 14. One of our teen numbers with 4. Now let me show you the same problems here. 9 plus 7 and 9 plus 5. A way to write them without using the visual model, those berries. Matthew. Oh, you want to go eat those berries? Go ahead. Blueberries. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Silly, Matthew. 9 plus 7. I think of 9 that wants to get one more. Like that. 9 wants to be 9 plus 1. But the 1 comes from 7. And so 7 becomes 6. Like that. That's another way to write it down. So here is 10. And here is 6. So we get 16. Let's practice it a little bit here. Pause the video. Try these three problems on your own. Use the trick. Nine wants to be ten. So nine becomes ten, but three becomes one less. Ten plus two. Twelve. Here, nine wants to be ten. And so six will become one less. Ten plus five, fifteen. And lastly, 9 becomes 10, and 8 becomes 1 less, so we get 17. Did you get those right? I hope so. Now here, we're going to do the same trick with 8. 8 plus 5, 8 plus 8. It's just a little tad different. Let's say these are lingon berries and these are blueberries. And um, I'm going to take 8. And 8 wants to be 10. It's the same idea. So 8 will ask 5, can I get two more? And 5 will say, OK, sure, go ahead. So 8 gets 2 from 5. And now 8 is 10. And 5 becomes just 3, right? 2 less. And so 10 plus 3 is 13. Again, 8 wants to be 10. So it calls to the other 8 and says, 8, can I get 2 from you? And the other 8 says, sure, go ahead. And then 8 becomes 10. But this other 8 becomes just 6. And we get 10 plus 6, 16. Now notice this is also one of our doubles that we studied in the last lesson. So maybe you even remember what 8 plus 8 is, that it's 16, without using the A trick. You don't have to use the trick if you know the sum by heart already. Let's practice though. 8 plus 4, 8 plus 7, and 6 plus 8. Try those on your own. Eight becomes ten. This four becomes two less than it was. So it only has two left. Ten plus two. Twelve. This eight becomes ten. And seven becomes two less than what it was. Five. Ten plus five. Fifteen. Over here, the eight is here. So eight becomes ten. And six becomes two less. Or four. Four plus ten. 10 plus 4, 14. Matt arranged 14 toy cars in a row. Then his little brother took some. Does that ever happen to you? Little brother comes and messes up your game. Now there are only 9 cars in the row. But again, the question is lacking. What can we ask? If this is a math word problem, what would you ask? 
There were 14 toy cars in a row. Little brother took some. Now there are only nine cars in the row. Well, I would ask, how many cars did the little brother take? You can solve this by subtracting, okay? If you want to subtract, you would write it like this, that there were 14 cars, little brother took some, we don't know how many, and then there are nine left. But you can also solve it by writing a how many more addition, and this is how that works. There are nine cars right now, but let's say the little brother returns those he took. Nine plus those cars that he took, so that would make 14 again, right? And this one you can solve by thinking of the nine trick. Nine plus how many more makes 14? You can even just guess. Guess three. Will three work? Nine plus three? No, that makes 12. Uh -oh. Nine plus four? No, that makes 13. 10 and 3. 9 plus 5? That works, because it makes 10 and 4. Yes. So the answer here would be 5, 2. Lastly, we get to do some puzzle problems again. Matthew, look at these colorful shapes. Oh, they are great, he says. And I have 9s here and 8s here, so you can use 9 trick and 8 trick here. Okay? Just try. What would go here? You can... Guess and check. Put four there. Six, whatever. Try something. Nine plus four makes ten and three. That does not work. Nine plus five makes ten and four. That makes fourteen. That's really close. Nine plus six is the one that works. Over here. Nine plus how many makes seventeen? You can just guess and check. How about if I guess nine? Nine plus nine would be ten and 8. 18. That's one too many. So let me try 8. 9 and 8 works. Oh, what about this cloud? So many plus 9 equals 99. That's his favorite number. What goes here? We've studied this before. This is not about this lesson. The answer is 90. 90 and 9 makes 99. 8 plus how many more makes 16? Think of the 8 trick now. Just guess and check. Guess something. Is 7 the right answer? 8 plus 7? Then it would become 10 here and 5 here. 10 plus 5? 15. No? But it's really close, isn't it? It's just one, two, little. So let's put 8 here. That works. That's one of your doubles too. 8 plus 8, 16. Something plus 8 makes 14. Okay, let me guess 5. 8 plus 5. 8 and 5 would make 10 and 2 less here. 10 and 3. 13. No. Again, we need to put one more here. 6 will work. Lastly, this hard problem, it's not about this lesson. You've learned to do this before. 42 and so many more makes 92. Notice there's 2 and 2. But here are four tens, and here are nine tens. So we need to add so many whole tens, right? Four tens plus five tens would make nine tens. Fifty goes into the heart. Okay, well done with this lesson.